So I'm about to do an unboxing of the Granger Tools for Tomorrow Scholarship Kit, one of the six. I need to thank a few, a few different people. First off, Joe Ferguson from my refrigeration air conditioning class uh, wrote my letter of recommendation for me. Then Southern Maine Community College for accepting me as one of the veterans for the Granger Scholarship. And then, of course, above all else, Granger. This is this is the Westward tool bag from Granger, and as you can see, the embroiderment here says Granger's Tool for Tools for Tomorrow Scholarship winner. I was one of two for Southern Maine Community College that actually was a recipient of this. They usually do it in the spring semester. You fill out the application. There's a, a few different pieces of criteria you have to meet but they have one for veterans and one for regular students. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in these two boxes right here because I just went up and picked them, picked them up from Granger. So I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get to unboxing. So as you can see, the Westward Toolkit, this is a bag. It's got the embroiderment on it already. So we don't need to worry about unboxing that. Let's start with the smaller one first. First thing I find when I open a box is a leather tool pouch. So a nice leather tool pouch here. And you have some disposable masks. Everybody can use those when they're cutting, grinding. 50 foot extension cord. Set of gloves, nice mechanic gloves. Everybody can use those. A 25 foot westward tool uh, tape measure. Oh, it's got all the little eighths in there too. In case you can't read a tape measure. These things are great. Some eye protection. Condor eye protection. They're actually not bad. They remind me of my uh, M frames from back in the military. A blue case with some something random in it. This looks to be... Uh, almost a, uh, an electronic caliper for precision measurements. Uh, the kit that I got, once again, is a uh, precision uh, precision tooling, or precision construction. A box is precision tools. Let's see what's on this. Some of these cases are really nice. That would be a slide level and everything else that goes with it. There's your ruler, all the different pieces that go with it. And the last thing in this box is really heavy. Metal tin with... Oh, no way! You guys are really gonna like this. Pull it out first. See if I can pull it out first. If you ever need drill bits, this is the entire drill bit set. Which is pretty, pretty awesome, all things considering. Brand new drill bits. And you can still sm smell the, uh, the oil on them. It reminds me of uh, CLP from using rifles. That's it for that box. Now we get into the, the bigger box. As soon as I find my knife. Oh, this is a list of all the bits that are in there too. It's a 115 piece drill set. It's 115 pieces in there. I hoisted this thing on my shoulder to bring it into the house. It's heavy, very, very heavy. As soon as I open it up, I've got two pry bars, a crow's foot, and a full length crowbar. Very first thing when I open this up. It actually comes with a sheet that's got everything in here. So once again, if you have an opportunity to fill out for this scholarship, you're doing yourself an injustice if you don't. All right. So moving through, there is a, a rubber hammer, the soft hammer, if you're ever using brass work, doing brass or copper work and you don't want to mushroom out something 
or you don't want to put a metal on metal hit to it, it's a rubber hammer, kind of like a mallet, that works perfectly fine. Open-ended wrenches, whole set of them. This is an 11 piece. It's all the metric stuff. So we got seven all the way up to 19 millimeter on here. Screwdriver with all the different heads to it. You can swap through. Another nice little case that comes with it. I'll lay all this stuff out again after I've, I've gotten it out of the box. Here's an AP screwdriver set. Good, good magnetic tips. Here is an O-ring, uh, O-ring pliers. So you got those clips where you got to put the hook in there, and you got to squeeze them to adjust them to pull them out. Whatever this fits right into them, and it's got three different heads, four different heads to it. Absolutely amazing. And we have two two ball peen hammers. Two different sizes, 24 ounce. And I think the other one is four. I think the other one's maybe a four. It's really light. Not even gonna worry about it. Two ball peen hammers. Box cutter. Everybody can use a box cutter. You guys just saw me opening these boxes with them. Uh, let's see, these are slip joint plier set. Small and large. Tin snips, left, right, and center. Some good stuff right here. If you're ever doing any sheet metal work, this is this is what you want. Wire strippers. It's funny because it's two sets of wire strippers. All right. So you got. Let's see this one. This is the smaller stuff. This is for the bigger stuff. So your thermostat cable and stuff like that. This is for your, your bigger gauges. We have another screwdriver, it's a mini screwdriver, a five in one. So that kind of goes with the other, other set there. Let's, let's see, these are flare nut wrench set. So for all your flare nuts, whenever you're doing gas lines, you're doing your refrigeration lines, you got a flare nut, you gotta get off of there. These are the wrenches for it. Slides right over the pipe, slides right on. You can crank them off. And this is a uh, eight-piece set. Putty knife, can't go wrong with a putty knife. Wrenches, adjustable, four of them. Got a nice grip on them. This is just in case you're doing tiny, tiny work. You got a four-piece plier set. Some more slip joints, channel locks. Uh, snips, and then of course your uh, needle nose. And another set of them, some lineman pliers, some more needle nose, another adjustable wrench, some more slip joints. Right. So there's both sets of them, four piece plier sets, end nippers. Just kind of cool. This looks to be. The T handled uh, ball end hex keys, that's what they call them. So these are all your hex keys. A box end wrench set, stubby wrench set. So these are the short ones. When you're in a tight space, that's what you need. A 12 foot tape measure. This one's got the, the little measurements in it. This also has little measurements inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it goes from one through nine here on the tape measure. So I want to make sure, just in case you can't read a tape measure, they got you covered. Locking pliers, needle nose. This is a two piece adjustable hacksaw. So here's a small one here. Do precision cutting, some small stuff, and then of course the big one when you're cutting conduit, stuff like that. This is heavy. Uh, so this is a 14-piece punch and chisel set. Okay, some good stuff, uh, especially doing plumbing nowadays. Uh, in the class I was doing 
we had to do a solder on a joint and then you had to break it apart to make sure that you were getting a full seal with the solder on the copper copper joint or doing a copper to brass joint so you had to use a chisel set to try to peel apart the two pieces after you soldered them together to make sure you had decent uh, decent fill another screwdriver this is a 14 in 1 extendable screwdriver Oh, you guys see that? I'm gonna do it again. Ready? It's like magic. The screwdriver? No, no, that one come out. You need an extendable screwdriver? Look at that. It's like some Harry Potter shit right there. Bam! That that's cool. That's really cool. I'm gonna tuck that back in the box. I'm gonna lose that. And it's got all your different heads inside of this too. So you just, I'm guessing you just unscrew the back. Yep, and then you slide them right out. It's all your heads. Right there. And the spring keeps them from bouncing around. Uh, this is a seven piece hollow shaft nut driver set. And this is the metric one. So you're ever looking for a nut driver and you just, sometimes you wind up busting out your ratchet set or something else like that. This is the seven piece Standard set, same thing, nut drivers. All right, tight places, can't, can't get a ratchet in there, can't get enough torque on it. And we have a 20 piece screwdriver set, soft. These also have, uh, let's see, it looks like uh, magnetic tips, uh, soft handles. It's for your comfort. Everything, once again, provided by Westward. This is a five-piece locking plier set. Comes in its own little pouch in here, too. So when you pull them out, your stuff's not all over the place. Now I have a box inside this box, which is one of the things that I'm really excited for. I think I know what it is. Inception. Oh, this is the heavy part. Whoa. A box within a box. It's like Godzilla just dropped on my floor. Because for some reason, I'm the only guy that buys a box cutter that doesn't have a knife that slides into it. Into the sheet. And it's another box inside the box. So, let me get this out of the way. Ginormous box. Let's see if I can get this other box out of this box. It's like Russian nesting dolls, because they only nest one way. This is a 204 piece. Set. 204 piece set of tools. This is one part of it, just these here. So let me see if I can get the other part. How's the other part? It just looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Give me a second to fix this. Technical difficulties. Okay, so now that the technical difficulties have been taken care of, and I've worked up a, a good sweat, this is a 204 piece tool set. FYI, don't ever try to open it vertically. It doesn't work. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Hallelujah. So, if you want to give me a minute, again, I'm going to lay all this stuff out and then tune back in. You can see everything 
laid out on the floor. And as you can see now, this is the entire Westward Tools Kit laid out here. Again, I, I can't thank Westward and Granger enough, along with SMCC, you know, from a 204 piece tool set, some micrometers, the levels, the insulated tools, you know, all the, all the adjustable wrenches, pliers, screwdrivers, wire strippers, uh, tin snips, uh, adjustable screwdrivers, the four in ones, the 15 in one, the nippers, the pry bar, crowbar, everything you see here is part of that scholarship. You know, again, if, if you have the opportunity and you see a Granger scholarship and you're in the trades, you're going to a community college, ask, ask about it. Granger scholarships, Granger, you know, tools for tomorrow. You know, absolutely amazing. I can't, I can't say enough. I worked really hard for the past two years to get an applied science degree uh, for HVAC. I got it. It was a bit of a struggle, but as you guys can see, extremely well worth it. So this, this is me showing off what you can get with the Granger Tools for Tomorrow scholarship. And again, guys, it's your education. Season. See what's out there. Season.